Hello Steelers and welcome to another Bench Report Hobby Update. Another week, another pile of painting done. I've been quite busy actually this week, uh, so there's quite a lot to get through. Um, the reason I'm quite busy is, well I've been busy painting, is uh, simply because the stuff that I've been painting has all been pretty small. So it's uh, it's relatively quick, you know, you can have about three or four things on the go and just dip in and out as, you, as you're doing stuff. And um, you know, uh, that's that's kind of uh, how I like to uh, paint my stuff. Really, just little bits and pieces here it keeps things keeps things interesting, and it also uh, it just stops you getting a little bit bored with being repetitive. I mean, so this week has been there have been uh, mostly uh, aircraft I've been painting as well as a few other bits and pieces. Um, the first ones were the uh, G three M one Nels. I got these painted up. Uh, these are the one six hundred ones from Sabotaged. So these were uh, nice again, lovely little uh, figures designed by uh, Jim Muir. Really, really beautiful. Uh, I also did the G four M one Bettys as well. <coughs> so another type of the Betty, the earlier version of the Betty. I've got the G four M twos as well. Uh, so these ones are the slightly earlier ones. Uh, I did play a game of uh, Bag the Hun with the uh, the later ones in, and they caught a bit of a mauling, but they didn't give they didn't give as good as they got. Uh, I also painted as well the A six M two zeros. These are another great little aircraft. Uh, I love zeros, uh, and although there were no f non flying over Malaya, I, I just just had to have those also awesome because I love them so much anyway. They're they're probably the the finest Japanese fighter out there, the finest looking anyway. Uh, and as I say, they they weren't really flying over Malaya, but I don't care. <laughs> if I'm having Japanese aircraft, I'm having zeros. I also uh, got in with another bunch of Peter Pig cowboys. Uh, I just painted. I, I picked out the the figures that were different uh, in the different styles because uh, Peter Pig generally have uh, generally have eight eight figures in a pack and generally three poses. So there's a bit of repetition in there. So what I did, I picked out all the different types of them because I want them as individuals obviously and painted those up they were quite nice uh, I also as well um, I'm going to talk about this in a second but I got a load of stuff from Sarissa in the post so I painted up uh, the hut uh, that they sent or one of the huts that they sent uh, I'm currently working uh, right now on the church as well this will be done in the next few days I would have thought I'm just uh, jazzing that up a bit but I did the hut the hut was nice nice and easy uh, and also from Peter Pig as well, I got some more stuff, which I'll talk about in a second, but uh, one of the things was some tents. So I painted those because they literally took five minutes to do, so I just put those together whilst I was painting the other bits and pieces. So they were done as well. And then finally, in the swathe of painting, uh, I did uh, some Kubo wagons. These are the ones that Richard Hogg had sent over. So I did one as a late war one, because I've already done a late war one, and then two of them as early war. These will be useful for chain of command, but they'll also be useful in O Group uh, as transport for the forward observation officers. So, you know, you can never have too many Kubo wagons, I think, anyway. They're kind of like uh, the German Jeep equivalent of a zero, I think. <laughs> Also this week as well, I've been doing a little bit some pieces. One of the things was I was uh, making some aircraft data sheets. Uh, so Evan from Iron Dice Gaming, go and check those out. I'll put a link in the description down below. Uh, he's He actually created what I call SVG uh, file, which he's been... Uh, creating some some uh, some aircraft data sheets for Bag of the Hun, so uh, I downloaded the program. Uh, he sent he very kindly provided the, uh, the 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 templates in the Bag of the Hun Facebook group. So I downloaded that and uh, very slowly but very surely I slowly worked out how to use the thing, and I managed to get uh, some of the Japanese and the uh, Allied aircraft. Uh, done. What I'm going to do is I will put these sheets in a Google Drive and then when they're completed and I've completed all the ones that I have at least, or the ones I want then I'll uh, I'll link them uh, so probably a couple of weeks I would have thought uh, but I'll, 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 I'll link them and uh, and then you can just download it from the Google Drive uh, so it's just a, it's going to be a case that you just all I'm going to do is I'm going to take them, stick them onto uh, an A4 page, so uh, in Word, I think you can get two sheets onto an A4 page. Uh, if you do it smaller than that, you can't really see what uh, what it says on the um, on the on the sheet. So I'd say 
to to his best and then I'm going to send them off to Docs Direct and get them printed up because uh, I think it'll be relatively cheap and then I will laminate them and uh, sort them out and then cut them out here and, uh, and then they'll be really nice and usable uh, for, for my my uses and then that takes us on to the post uh, so again this week has been a lot of stuff has come through I think uh, there's been delays because of the couple of bank holidays so a lot of my stuff I bought over the last few weeks has, has been delayed for a little while uh, I know this because the, the post lady actually brought some stuff up for me because she knows me and she brought it up specifically to drop it off for me because it was sat in the sorting office uh, so I got a Salute 50 mug this had been given uh, to Joe, Joe Bilton uh, when I helped him out down at the down at Salute the other week uh, he said they'd left two on the table um, and then gone past so he reckoned one was for me so he sent this up for me so thank you very much for that for Joe uh, I've been drinking out here I've been using this a lot it's great sir uh, I love a mug uh, and then uh, also very kindly uh, the publisher uh, who is it I don't actually know who the publisher is here uh, I'll just find out who the publisher is uh, it's a P so there we go it's, it's a P it's definitely a P uh, Profile Books Limited um, sent this over to me. This is uh, Peter Hart's new book, Foot Sloggers. Uh, now, if you watch the channel, you're probably aware that I'm a fan of Peter Hart's work. He's, um, this is a review copy. Uh, this is the Infantry Battalion at War. I recently, well, it's relatively recently, did a review of his Burning Steel book, which is the uh, the British Im uh, armour of war, and he was just following the 4th and 4th R. Uh, yeomanry through Normandy, well, through the training in Normandy. This one, I believe, is the yes, the Durham Light Infantry, the DLI. He's already done books on the DLI before. Uh, I think it's called Forward into Battle or something like that. Or no, Face of Battle or something. Uh, I have read it and uh, and it was good. But that was about the Italian campaign. This is all about the their training all the way through. So I'm going to read this and I will do a review of it because, as I say, it was been sent as a review copy. So uh, it's only fair that I I, I give back by uh, by doing a review of it. So, but thank you very much if you are watching Peter and if you got that signed up for me. I, I don't know if I'm on their list or what. The other thing I got as well in the post was this, Defending the Ypres Front, uh, Trenches, Shelters and Bunkers of the German Army by Jan Vakulia and Christoph Bleek. Uh, I think I was pronouncing their names. This, I think, was originally published in Dutch in 2016. Uh, so this is a reprint in English and it's all about the German defences on the Ypres Front. Uh, so it goes into great detail, really, about uh, the construction of uh, their... Uh, trenches and of their pillboxes and uh, observation posts and stuff so if nothing else this is going to be a fantastic resource just for creating uh, Ypres specific German bunkers and things for uh, through the mud and blood or even for square bashing and stuff so uh, looking forward to diving into that I just haven't got a chance to yet uh, but it was on sale uh, through um, uh, military press, naval and military press. I think it was only about four quid or something like that, so I couldn't really pass that. So, so yeah, I got that as well. That's another uh, another book to uh, to add to the list of things that I'm never going to read. <laughs> the other thing I got as well was a Stalingrad insert by Folded Space. This is for the Undaunted game. Now they do get a plastic insert with Stalingrad, but it's it's okay, uh, but the token box is not great. Uh, there's not a, you, you've got to kind of jam everything in a little bit, <laughs> and it fits. But this is really good. It's a really real beautiful full colour, and it is actually uh, the, uh, the the official one as well. So it's been licensed by Osprey Games. Full colour. You don't even need to glue this, uh, and it goes together really well. Uh, I am going to glue it just because. Uh, some of the, 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 the components are quite heavy but it's just a great addition to what is a great game to be perfectly honest uh, and I think it's you know it's, it's well worth the money that it is it's not cheap but it is worth it and I, I always I'm a big fan of box organizers I think they're they're great things also on top of that then uh, just I mentioned them previously I'd got some buildings excuse me Tanya you're having a you're having a laugh uh, I got some buildings here from uh, Sarissa so I've got a couple more here uh, I bought two huts, so this is the second one I haven't built yet. Uh, I bought the church as well, the little wooden church, which I'm part way through building at the moment. 
I also got some roof tiles as well just to make them a little bit more attractive and interesting uh, and I did get a water tower but they sent me this the North American double arch extension bridge <laughs> uh, so I got in touch with them uh, it's unfortunately it's only the center bit of it I think it's not even the end bit so it's relatively useless to me but uh, I got in touch with them and they're just going to send me the water tower out and uh, it seems like they're going to let me keep this for free because they didn't reply to my my question as to how to return it so I think Thank you very much Sarissa, you're a great customer service as you know always, I think these things should be certainly uh, publicised. And speaking of great public, uh, uh, great customer service, uh, Paul over at Sabotage, uh, he went above and beyond and printed me 12 Wildebeests uh, for Malaya, these are the ones I've forgotten, uh, Jim Muir had designed these in 3D and uh, Paul printed those along with some more bases for those so I'm going to go with those. I need to work out the stats for these those for, for, um, for Bag the Hun but they're going to be fun uh, attacking Japanese ships and things so we could probably do some uh, coastal work with those so they're going to be good so he did those. He also sent me some fences as well because I was running out of them and I wanted to use these for backyards and things for what the cowboy stuff. He also sent me some thunder boxes as well, uh, a bunch of these uh, again just to scatter around various cowboy towns because uh, you know there's no indoor toilets in a cowboy town. So they'll be useful, thanks for this Paul. He also sent me as well, I asked him if he'd got any troughs and hitching posts so he sent me a few of those. So they're going to be dead easy to just to put together just to make a town look a bit more interesting when we finally get to Lardville. So that's the idea, just to I can just put those on bases and they'll just a bit of scatter terrain, a bit of cover. Because what is a cowboy town without a trough or a, uh, a trough to fall into or a hitching post to fall over? The other thing he sent as well is he's been licensed to uh, print these mine workings and other uh, western stuff. I can't remember the name of the company. Uh, but he sent me some test prints in 15mm, so there's a mine opening there, uh, some mine carts and also some uh, some mine track as well and little bits and pieces. So I'm looking forward to painting those, they're going to be great fun I think, they look really nice and it's going to be uh, add again a little bit of a, an addition to the tabletop. So look out for those at some point in the future, they'll be coming. The other thing as well, sticking with the cowboy theme, because I'm big into it at the moment, uh, Peter Pig, I went and got a load of stuff from Peter Pig, so I've got some Indian Braves, or not Native Americans should we say, so a few other like uh, shotgun people, some townsfolk, uh, some more lawmen and then also some Indians with uh, with rifles and some dead Indians as well because I just wanted to make up a couple of uh, sets of uh, stuff for the uh, the way where you get uh, a random event and a load of Native Americans turn up and cause trouble or also some henchmen as well so again they're going to be very useful and very easy. The other thing that came in the post as well, uh, it just came yesterday on Saturday, is a very, very super secret thing from Warbases. Uh, you're going to have to keep watching and all will be revealed in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm not going to say anything more about it at the moment, but uh, there is something coming. So uh, stay tuned and stay tuned. But keeping with the cowboy theme, uh, I started the What Up Cowboy campaign this week as well. Uh, well, I actually started it last week. I'd actually drawn up a couple of rosters for this. Uh, so I, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll stick these into the into a Google Drive, and I'll put a link in the bottom of the video uh, for you to download these. But uh, I'll put them in as Word documents, and all you need to do is just you can de delete all the bits and pieces, and then just fill them in each yourself. So all I've done is I've basically created two gangs. I've got the Bounty Hunters and the Snaggletooth Boys. They're going to be uh, duking it out over the possession of Lardville. I did actually start this last week, last weekend, um, I was going to play, and what happened was I, I recorded it, I recorded two games, and I looked back at the footage, and it just wasn't good enough, to be perfectly honest, so I dumped all of it, I just got rid of the lot of it, I thought, I don't, I, don't, I, I don't want this to go out, because it's just not good. So this weekend, instead, I started replaying it, and I've already done the first scenario again, uh, and I will be doing the second scenario either later today or maybe down the week but you know I'm, at the moment I got to a point as well with videos I was just kind of getting a bit overwhelmed with it I'd got about four or five just sitting waiting to be edited so last week I just sat down edited them got rid of them because they were also blocking on my hard drive as well as nothing, if nothing else so I just got those and I just edited them got them out of the way and did them so I'm feeling a lot better about it you know being able to now that they're uploaded and they're 
the out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. They're just waiting to be released at some point in the future. Uh, and I just thought, well, uh, you know, I, I want to do a, a pretty good uh, version of, of Water Cowboy. I don't just want to film it like I did with the introductory scenario because you can't really see a great deal on that one. So I just uh, I went back and I, I refilmed it. That's, that's literally it. I thought that's what I want to do. The other thing I did as well last week is my mate Lauren came over. We played Roots. I introduced her to Roots. Um, so uh, she kicked my ass. So we won't be playing that ever again. <laughs> Uh, and it has been a week for losing to be honest this week uh, simply because as well at the club on Thursday Dex and I played scenario 6 of Kursk uh, which was breaking through I think it was, it's the uh, the German offensive uh, at its height at this point uh, 5th of July and uh, this uh, the, the, the Soviets had got a completely fresh platoon in place now now I was still using an understrength platoon because I was still using my three original platoons and they'd all taken hits at this point. I wasn't down massively but I was down quite a bit and I completely underestimated the size of those Soviet platoons I'd forgotten because for the last few games Dex has been completely under under the cosh and uh, he's lost about a good third to a quarter of his men in each of his sections so he was really down he was down from four down to about two and a half sections I think in the last game and I'd completely forgotten that they got four sections in their platoons I managed to get into the village but then I got absolutely mauled it was a brilliant game really really good right really tense right down to the the, uh, the wire uh, one of the things I was very chuffed with is I used the stug to get forward and then actually drag forward a jumping off point with it so that I could get another unit out so I wasn't walking up a long table basically an empty table so uh, I, you know it swings and roundabouts isn't it that kind of thing so yeah, it's been a busy week, uh, not only with painting, but also with playing and stuff. Uh, I'm going to be away for work next week for the club, so I won't be down, but we'll be playing, I think, Water Tank the week after, if everybody's still up for it. Uh, and I'm going to continue with the Water Cowboy campaign, which, as I say, will be out at some point in the future. Just keep your eyes out on the channel. And uh, I'll leave it to that. I'll just say, if you're not... Uh, already subscribed please do hit that subscribe button uh, you can also check out the patreon and channel memberships as well if you want to help support the channel uh, and i'll see you in the next hobby report bench update